Every DUI involves two paths. One with the Colorado Department of Revenue's Division of Motor Vehicles, the DMV, and one with the judicial system, the courts. It's important to remember that each path operates independently. For example, even if your court case is dismissed, you may still lose your driving privileges. The DMV process will determine restrictions on your driving privileges, while the court hearing will decide fines, community service, and probation or jail time. Both the DMV and the court can require alcohol and drug education and treatment. When you are arrested for a DUI, your driving privileges will be revoked. The DMV path determines the requirements you will need to meet to start driving again. After your arrest, you have the option to request an administrative hearing with the Colorado Department of Revenue. This must be submitted in writing within seven days of the arrest. At this hearing, you will have the opportunity to contest your license revocation. If the Department of Revenue hearing officer determines your license revocation should be upheld, you will learn the requirements you must meet to have your driving privileges reinstated. These requirements are based on your blood alcohol content, or BAC, which is determined by a blood or breath test, as well as any previous DUI offenses. If you refuse any breath or blood test after your arrest, you will lose your driving privileges for two months and will be required to have an interlock restricted driver's license for a minimum of two years. A license revocation for DUI will require you to serve a mandatory no-drive period where all driving privileges are revoked. After that, you may be allowed to start driving with an ignition interlock in your car. An ignition interlock is a device that can detect alcohol in your system. Once the mandatory no-drive period and the ignition interlock period have been served without any extensions, you can contact the DMV about reinstating your driving privileges. You will also be required to pay a reinstatement fee, show proof of SR-22 insurance, and complete various levels of alcohol and drug education and treatment you can find a detailed chart of the restrictions you can expect on the DMV page. The second path is the court hearing. At your court hearing, you will enter a plea. Based on your plea, guilty or not guilty, your case will either be sent to trial or your sentence will be determined. Your sentence can include fines, community service, mothers against drunk driving victim impact panels, and jail time or probation. Your BAC, previous DUI charges, and damage or harm caused to others will be considered when determining your court sentence. You can find a detailed chart of the criminal penalties and fines on the court page. For more detailed information on both of these paths, explore the DMV, courts, and FAQ pages on this website. The information on this website is for informational purposes and should not be considered as legal advice.